Welcome everybody to the breastfeeding class today. I wanted to talk about hormones and how hormones play a part in breastfeeding and what part they play. You have three hormones that play a part in milk production. Those three hormones are oxytocin, prolactin, and progesterone. Now progesterone is produced by the placenta and it's basically its job is well it has many jobs but in the milk production part of it is it prevents your body from making milk while you're pregnant by the progesterone levels being up high it lets the body know that it's you're pregnant and once those progesterone levels drop it will then trigger the milk production now prolactin tells the breast to make milk and during this time period, when your prolactin levels are high, this can make you feel sleepy, it can help make you feel calm, um, it can keep your menstrual cycle from coming back right away, it can cause some of those motherly feelings that we feel when we have a baby. So a lot of times when a mom goes through some postpartum depression or she goes through some emotional issues, sometimes it's hormones, it's the hormones that cause that. So prolactin produces milk. It tells your body to produce milk. Oxytocin is the third hormone. This makes the milk flow. This is what releases the milk. It causes the uterus to contract, which helps bring the uterus back down to size. It also helps mom have that warm feeling, that love feeling, that mother-infant bond feeling, this oxytocin. They call it the love hormone because oxytocin is released when we laugh, when we cry, you know, just for different emotions. So that's the part that oxytocin plays in milk production. So oxytocin releases your milk. That's why sometimes if you're really stressed or um, just really, I don't know, you could be like, for instance, a mom who's pumping. She could be pumping and getting no milk out because that hormone is not releasing the milk because she's not feeling the same way she feels when the baby's breastfeeding. So sometimes we would say, you know, have a picture of your baby or have record your baby's cry or just report, record your baby. And when you're, when you see your baby, when you hear your baby, it helps re, uh, release that hormone, which then helps release the milk. So sometimes your breast can be full of milk but then you, um, it just won't come out because you're just stressed or whatever the cause could be. Um, if that hormone is not released, it can keep the milk from releasing. Those three hormones are some, something that's very important for milk production. Now, a little bit about the breast. You have your milk ducts and milk ducts, they're like the tubes that go through um, and that the, tr that the milk travels through. And then you have the alveoli. They're grape-like clusters where the milk is made and where it's held. When you think of inside the breast, you can think of a cluster of grapes. When you pick up a cluster of grapes, you have the vines, that's like your milk ducts, and then the grapes themselves, that hold your milk, um, and that makes your milk. So your breasts are full of those, and I'm gonna show you kind of a picture, and then there's fat that's mixed in, and that's just kind of to protect. Um, it's like right around the skin, and it's just there for protection. And then you have uh, ligaments that are in the back of your breast, and that just helps support breast tissue. So just to kind of give you an idea, this is sort of like what the inside of your breast looks like. So the little pink things here are like those grape-like clusters that I talked about. That's where your milk is held and where it is made. And then this white things here in between, this is your fat, the fatty tissue, and this just protects the breast and the, the ducts. Um, and then right in here are your ducts and they just kind of run through here. And that's where the milk travels. It comes out of these cluster-like grape, these grape-like clusters, and then they come out of the nipple. And then back in here are your ligaments that support all of this. So hopefully this video helps some of you guys. Um, it's just a quick little tutorial, if you want to call it that, talking about your breast and 
exactly how your breast works, what it looks like on the inside, how those hormones play a part in milk production. So I hope that this information kind of helps you understand how your milk is made and what goes on in your body when the milk is being made. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do put up a video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.